Ezekiel 42. Then he brought me forth into the outer court. And this is the future temple that's going to be in Jerusalem where Jesus Christ will reign as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And as I said the last couple nights, if you think I know the entire Bible, we're reading through Ezekiel 42 and most of it's reading because I really don't understand it. And he brought me into the chamber, that's a room, that was over against the separate place. And which was before the building toward the north. So there's a separate place. There's a <laughs> Before the length, a hundred cubits was the north door. And the breadth was fifty cubits. Over against the twenty cubits, which were the inner court, and over against the pavement. Now the pavement could be not blacktop. I believe um, uh, Esther talks about a colorful pavement, which was the outer coat, was gallery, it's a big open room, against gallery in three stories. So we, we see there are three different levels. There are galleries, there are rooms, there are chambers, there are doors, there are walls, there's porches. There's a etching of a wallpaper type of palm trees and, and cherubims. And before the chambers was a walk. We were called a sidewalk. A path. Of ten cubits breadth. Ten cubits wide. Inward. And a way of one cubit. And there are doors toward the north. Now the upper chamber or chambers, were shorter. For the galleries were higher than these, than the lower, than the middlemost of the buildings. I don't know what, you, what verse 5. That, that would, I don't know the whole Bible. For they were in three stories, three levels, I got that. But had not pillars as the pillars of the courts. Now we've got pillars and we got posts. This has no pillars. Therefore the building was straight or straightened more than the lowest and the middle most of the ground. Now I've seen a picture somebody somebody laid this out. And they laid it out as a pyramid. Is it? Could be? Possibility? I don't know. I don't understand the, the construction and the means. Somebody else would have better information when it comes. But we live by every word of the Lord. I can say, okay, we're not going to do 40, 40, 41, 42, 43. We're going to get into what I know. Then we wouldn't be going through the Bible chapter by chapter. And the wall. That was, that was without over against the chambers. Toward the utter court. On the fore part of the chambers. The length thereof was 50 cubits. Okay. For the length of the chambers. That's the rooms. That were in the utter court. There's a lot of rooms or chambers in this building. 50 cubits. And lo, before the temple, there's the temple, were 100 cubits. And from under these chambers was the entry on the east side, as one goeth into them from the utter court. When we get there, the chambers were in the thickness of the walls of the court toward the east over against the separate place, and over against the building. That don't help me. You understand? Amen. You have an idea? Amen. You want to say, well, I'm not going to listen to Stylin because he don't know what he's talking about. 
and you know the whole entire Bible. The way before them was like the appearance, like the appearance of the chambers which were toward the north. Okay. As long as they, and as broad as they, so dimension, size, and all their going out were both according to their fashions and according to their doors. Okay. And according to the doors of the chambers that were toward the south was a door in the head of the way, even the way directly before the wall toward the east, as one entereth into them. You, you're listening to this on audio, not video. I'm shaking my head. I'm, okay. Then said he unto me, the north chambers and the south chambers, okay, they're rooms on the north and south, which are before the separate place. They be holy chambers. Where the priests, uh-oh, we got priests in the millennium. That approach onto the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. That's the Lord, that's God, that's Jesus. There will be priests that will be right in front of standing before the Lord Jesus Christ. The great high priest. You ain't going to tell him to leave the temple because he is the author of the temple. I don't know where this temple appears from. This is not the temple that's going to be in the, in the tribulation period that, that the Antichrist is going to make. This is going to be the temple built by God, Jesus himself. The man that said, let there be, a, let there be light. Boom. All right, now let there be a sun and moon and star. Boom. Let there be oak and apple and peach trees, not from seeds, but they will contain seeds to grow more trees. Boom. Let there be lions and tigers and bears and scorpions and snakes and, and don't know why he made the fly. I don't know why she follows us. Oh. Cats and dogs and donkeys. Boom. There they were. God said, let, and this is not in order, this is not what, and God said, let there be goldfish, let there be bluefish, let there be blackfish, let there be lobsters, let there be clams, let there be, boom, there it was. Maybe one point, maybe when Jesus brings Israel into the promised land, boom, there's your temple. I don't know. God's capable of doing anything that is not sin. I gotta say it without because there'll be people who think God can do anything, including sin. I mean, I, I heard there was a time with, with the hippies and all that, you know, Jesus would come around and smoke dope with us. So, where the priest that approach unto the Lord shall eat the most holy things. That was in the law. The priests were allowed the best portions of the offering. There it is. There is Jesus going to be with them. They shall, there shall they lay the most holy things, the meat offering, that was the law, Leviticus, and the sin offering, Leviticus, so there's sin, and the trespass offering. Like I said the other, the other day, there's a line, there's a fence. And there's a sign on that fence that says no trespassing. When you cross over that fence, you sin against God. You sin. For the place is holy. When the priests enter therein, they then shall they not go out of the holy place into the other court. But there they shall lay their garments, you know, they have the special priestly garments, wherein they minister. That's all in Exodus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. They, for they are holy, the garments. And shall put on other garments. 
and shall approach those things which are for the people. So that which is for God has been separated in the millennium with Jesus Christ from that which is the people. If you remember Eli's sons and the priests, then it was for you know they would stick in that three prong <clears throat> fork, pitchfork, whatever you want to call it, before the meal was even cooked. Okay, I want it. This is mine. Give it to me. But sir, the, the law says you got. I don't care what the law. You give it to me. So everything is done right. There's a separation, even though the world, you know, you don't separate. You separate the good from the bad. You separate the holy from the unholy. Jesus did that when he came. All those against Israel, bye-bye, go into the lake of fire. All those that helped Israel, come on into the millennium. And there's a division in the millennium. You are the Christians of the church, the bride of Jesus. You are the Jews, you are the bride, and you are the choice of God the Father. You are the nations. You are here because of what you did for Israel. The church is there for what they did for Jesus. You know, I don't know if all, all the Christians are going to be in the millennium. I don't know what happens to those that don't get the inheritance and don't get rewards. May they get a time out for a million years. I don't know. Maybe they get put under the rulers that served the Lord did right. Like I said, it'd be amazing if, if I get a city. I'd be happy with well done in one city. And the Lord says, okay, this is your city. And he puts every Christian that was in every church that I've been in, including the pastor, all right, they are under you because they wouldn't listen to you when you spoke right. Now you sit them down stylely and you teach them again about Easter and you teach them again about Christmas and you again teach what the Bible said because they couldn't get it straight. Because you did well done. Here's your crown and they are bald. And there are many pastors and there are many Christians in churches I have been in you're not going to get it well done. You're not going to get nothing. And there are people going to hell thinking they're saved. There's a division under Jesus. You know, it's amazing. Find me a Pharisee or a Sadducee that Jesus healed. But he healed the centurion's servants, children. He healed the, that woman who was a, a, the half-breed Jew there. He healed the men in the cursed city of Jericho that was blind. There's a division. Jesus of the trial and all to his death. He speaks to his mother. He speaks to John. He speaks to the daughters of Israel. He speaks to this, but he did not speak to Herod. He spoke to Pilate. Cause I believe, I believe Pilate was convinced. And the, like almost like Felix almost persuaded me to be a Christian. Pilate could have been a Christian because there were no Christians then. Check that reference. Okay. Now, when he had made an end of measuring the inner house, he brought me forth toward the gate whose prospect is toward the east. I don't know. Looking to the east is on the east side. I, I don't know. And measure it round about. And he measured east side with a measuring reed. We call a ruler today, tape measure, 500 reeds with the measuring reed round about. He measured the north side, 500 reeds with the measuring reed round about. He measured the south side, guess what? 500 reeds with a measuring reed. 
But that one doesn't say about. Roundabout. Roundabout verse 16, roundabout verse 17 on the south side, no roundabout. Why? I don't know. I'll point it out to you. Maybe the Lord will give you. And he, and he turned about the west side and measured 500 reeds with the measuring reed. No roundabout. He measured it by the four sides. It had a wall roundabout. 500 reeds long. 500 reed, 500 broad. So it's 500 by 500. Now watch this. What a, what a weird way to close this chapter. To make a separation between the, sancti the sanctuary and you thought that was your church. Do you see what happens when you call your church a sanctuary? You have made your church the temple. Some of them you say, the Baptist temple, blah, 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 blah. We humans, born again, by, well, born again, not all Bible believers, born again Christians, saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, we are the temple. You know how you know your church ain't the temple? Your church ain't the sanctuary? Because there are lost people sitting in the pew. And you, the church hierarchy could be lost. That the rapture would happen at the time that your church is meeting, there will be people that we still sit in the pews when the trump blows. And the profane place. What on earth is that? There is a place for those who are set apart by God. And there is a place for the common person. In the temple. You know, in the temple of Jesus' time, there was a separate court for the women. There's always been in the temple a separate spot for the priest. You realize, I always forget his name, but John the Baptist's father, you realize he almost had a heart attack. He's in there, he's doing the incense, it's the time of prayer, and he turns around and bumps into Gabriel. Oh, what are you doing in here? Now, he didn't see the big wings. <laughs> he wouldn't know right away he's an angel. He didn't see the, the halo around it. I mean, you figure if Jesus and all them had halos, they would know who he was. The light bright man. Who art thou? Well, you see the little ring around my head? I thought that was a bagel. There was a separation. There's always a separation in the Bible. There are people that everybody's going to go to heaven. No. There's a heaven and there's a hell. In the temple where we are, I believe even as Christians, we are not going to be allowed. We will be allowed at the temple. But there are places in that temple. No, you can't go. I've been in, I've been in many museums. Here in Florida, in Connecticut, where I live, and in Massachusetts, I'm in that great museum in Boston. And we go looking around, think, wow, this is great. And, that. and we'll come to a door that says, no admittance, personnel, or workers only. And it'll say, sometimes it will say, no trespassing, keep out. That's not trespassing. There was a king that went into the holy place to burn incense. He had an attitude because the priest said, hey, you don't belong here. And upon his forehead started to get leprosy. You don't belong here. And when they found his grave, there's a warning. Hey, you better be careful because this, this guy had a disease. That temple is going to be a holy temple. And as many some Baptist preachers that I have met and, and been under, don't you go in there. 
Only the elite of the cliques can go in there. I've been in churches like that. Don't you sit in my seat, because that's the holy place seat. Don't tell me that. Because if you, I, I've had, I've done it. And you can ask my wife, Lisa. Well, she's in heaven. You tell me, or you, I hear you say to somebody, that's my seat, don't sit there. Guess where I'm going to be seated in the next church service? And guess who's going to be pretending that he's taking a nap while waiting for the service to start? As you're saying, sir, that's my seat. <laughs> sir, wake up, that's my seat. No, it's not. And then, as a kind of person, I will get up before a service start. I will go pretend to use the bathroom. I'll come back and sit in my seat. I've done it before. Sometimes the things I put Lisa through, I'm telling you. But there is a division. There will be unclean people in the millennium. That's why you bring the sacrifice. That's why you bring the sin offering. That's why you bring the trespass offering. There will be places where the priests are allowed and you are not. And you're not going to do the 2022 worldly thing. Oh, you know, everybody, everybody, blah, 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 you know, prejudice, blah, 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 blah. No, you ain't going to pull that in front of Jesus. All those who think like that are burning in hell. 